Hello and welcome back. We are um, still roaming around doing some missions. I'm trying to make up some money for a very um, bad decision, you know, ignorant decision making basically. Um, I'm going to do another training day. It's going to be much the same. I'm doing it, I think for, I guess for an extra 200,000, we could not, I'm sorry. I can't say no to that one cherry pick. It just makes all the difference in the world. Um, if we get another Thunderbolt bolt part, for instance, it would just like make the, the mission so much better in, in terms of a payout. Like that's worth far, far more than 200,000. So like, yeah, we're banking on like, uh, something spicy showing up, but, um, at the same time, it's just, it's just so worth it. Um, this is going to be a similar mission to the one we did in the last episode. We're going to be having, uh, three dudes in um, very tiny mechs and then um you know take on two mechs and then a big one um not sure like it's it's just more or less the same mission again the only reason i'm taking it is because it's such a low difficulty with a very high payout and we're not even really risking our own mechs outside of the hunchback and it's not really a risk at that point um we'll do this one and the other one that seemed like a good payout and then maybe in the next episode we'll do the the campaign mission which I haven't seen yet. We've got Stubble, Flapjacks, and Pontoon. Pontoon, back again. Oh gosh, I'm really excited about this. I hope we see some fighting. I'm not sure. We didn't We didn't do very well at the practice range. Just because you almost blew up the observation bunker. Uh, right, anyway, Commander, I'm seeing a single Torian Lance here. Like, actual Torian mechs with real guns? I can't wait. I'm gonna kick... Uh, wow. I'm gonna lick their asses kick it it's, it's uh, you know what it, never mind have fun commander i'll be on the station meet me here when you're ready to leave wait where are we going i just figured out how to turn on my radio ready to chuck i love the the banter on the little mechs Position it's confirmed. adorable Order acknowledged. and we're just gonna keep moving we can, um, I mean, the, the nice thing about having, like, being forced to use small mechs is that you have to move them around and do stuff with them, and therefore, uh, we can, you know, we can use them for what they're intended for, which is to scout and do some good stuff, you know? So let's see, can we, yeah, they're just within range, so what we can do is, um, Put a bl oh we none of these guys have sensor lock so never mind so we're just gonna keep them sprinting around right, let's move. this is a oh uh, they've got their own urban mech and i'm gonna assume that's a commando it's a 20 ton it might actually be something smaller like a jenner uh, actually the jenner's a 30 ton um more likely it's gonna be a spider or maybe a locust Let's see. Place your place your bets on Locust. It's right there. How come I can't see it? Oh my god. Full throttle. Okay. Um, so what's the, that's going to be the big mech, right? Funny that they dropped it down. Oh, that's just two more mechs. Wow, they got both their shots off, huh? That shot got past my armor. Yeah. We have 10 ammo. We can take 10 shots. Let's just kill this thing. All weapons committed. Can't believe that it didn't even breach their armor. I did I not hit it? It is a locust. Ha ha ha. I win. So that guy is, um, he's already breached. So I'm not liking where that, where, 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 what's happening there. Let's just like back up and, um, it's our right side that's actually in danger. So if I can like try and aim my left side towards it, that would be ideal. We don't have a great line of sight here, but I'd rather take this and what was that? Because the locust has such crazy evasion, right? Hit. 
Um, we'll take some shots on the urban mech here. Nice. We knocked it down? Amazing. Too bad we couldn't have done that before my turn because I would have absolutely destroyed it if that was the case. But we do get to hit it with an AC-10, which is nothing to... Nothing to laugh about. Locust is going to move around. Aww. I was kind of hoping it was going to try and do, kick the... <laughs> kick the uh, hunchback. Wait, what? Oh, these is, this is a rivaling faction. That's bizarre. So they're just going to, like, fight each other? Well, I'm cool with that. Can we hit this thing? Let's, uh, shoot something for sure. Like, that is for sure. Explode. So that's that dead. Now, I gotta be... I mean, like, I kind of don't want to fight the Torian because they're gonna probably fight the, uh, the other faction for us. So let's just like move in a better position and then shoot at these locusts. We missed. That's a shame because it was a pretty good chance of hitting. I mean, it was a 55 chance. Moving to position. Roger that. Nice. Standing by. Scored a critical hit. We don't have great odds of hitting it with this thing. Oh, that's actually not bad. We do have... No, we actually have a better chance of hitting the one that's further away. And we did hit it. Nice. We killed it. Oh, no, we, we didn't kill it. it. It got knocked over, but... Uh... Okay, Locust. Ah, I was wondering... I, was, uh, I thought that they were going to shoot at the Hunchback, but no, apparently they're shooting at the other faction, which is great. Aw, uh, don't kick my commando. Now I have to kill you. <laughs> Just go ahead and punch it. Punch. You missed? We killed. Nice. Yeah, we can move, but uh, let's let's take out what we've got left. EC10 is going to miss here, but that's fine. We actually hit it. We killed it. So the only thing left is the poor locust over there, and I'm about to hit it with the punchback. <laughs> this doesn't seem fair. Crunch. Did I... I was going to say, if I didn't hit it, did I miss with the... AC-20? Okay, that was a less than 10 minute mission for like close to 500 grand. That's what you like to see, you know? And we got an extra payout, so it's actually closer to 700,000. Um, none of this is very exciting to me. I actually would probably prefer to take the AC-10. They gave me a bunch of locust parts. I did actually finish a locust. That's actually going to be an extra payday. Because we'll just sell that. I'm not I'm not doing anything with a locust. Some biomes are fair. Eh. So um, there's one more payday mission. And then... Um, I don't know. We could take something a little bit harder before we do a campaign mission. Sell this hundred thousand, hundred and fifty thousand. Nice. So this one here is very tempting. Show of force. A million credits. Uh, we need a mercenary company capable of defending our convoy and deterring any hostile force that may want. I don't like these missions. They're really. Like, I don't like, since since we can't really control who they target, I always hate having to defend something. 
to defend something because it's just like we could just get really unlucky and they could like a hundred percent target the convoy like we'll, we'll do it i'm gonna do it anyway because i don't think i've done that kind of mission um yet and again we're like it looks like the arena restoration is like against the pirates so that sucks but it uh i mean it makes sense um we're gonna put glitch in the centurion um let's try the griffin good to, uh, maybe good opportunity for the griffin because um we are gonna want to hit things from as far away from uh, as far away as possible and we'll take the other centurion that one's closer range and um, i guess we'll put decker in it even though he's low morale i'm not sure what that does for him won't really tell me but this seems okay i that ta the, the extra tactician to me makes a bigger difference in the, whatever morale hit we're taking i'll do a pause here so you don't have to wait through the loading screen all right This is a convoy escort mission. We need to take a pre predetermined position, rendezvous with the convoy, and get it to its destination in one piece. Yeah, except I would prefer to try and meet whatever is going to try and take it out, like, as quickly as possible. Heading out. Was that enemy contact, or was that convoy? On my way. Destroy pri pirate blocking force. A locust, huh? Well, uh, we should be able to hit that with the... Actually, let's let's try the new long range. We probably won't hit it. Not great odds. But, uh, you know, we took some shots. Not too worried about any of that. Ready for orders. Acknowledged. We got another mech over there. Something a little bit beefier. There we go. Oh my god, three lucky hits. Dead. I don't want to. I don't want to salvage a locust. Stop giving me locusts. I hear ya. Yeah, glitch knows what I'm talking about. Okay, we're not even gonna not even gonna bother with the other locust because its evasion is so ridiculously high right now that we have a much better chance of hitting that thing. Oh, we got another thing coming over here. May as well try and meet it. Kind of don't want to shoot it with the AC-20 right now. We missed. That's fine. It was... The, our odds were of hitting it were so low. It just... I didn't want to waste the ammo, to be honest. What can I do for you? See, this is when we get into situations. I, I don't know what to... What I'm necessarily supposed to do about it. Um... Yeah, let's do this. Take out that spider. Surprise, we did not take it out. Another hit like that and you're toast. Wow. The evasion though. Yes, commander. On it. We'll just hit it with our close range stuff that has renewable Roger. weaponry. Nice hits again. Decker with the low morale still like getting those good shots and killing stuff. Okay, we are taking some armor hits now. I'm kind of amazed at how, that it managed to maintain its evasion despite the fact that it just shot all of its weapons. We got we did hit it with the PPC. That was good. Okay, I think it's worth hitting it with the 20 now. We missed with the 20. Uh, that, that sucks every time. I'm starting to I'm starting to really question the auto cannons. 
I mean, it makes sense when you're like shooting a bunch of guns, but when you're just shooting one gun, missing with it is just like the worst. I'd rather shoot a million things at something and hit with like 75% of it than miss with our one bullet that does a hundred damage. Come on. There we go. It does hit hard. Like it hits really hard. Make no mistake. Come on, Decker with the, with the low morale. Let's see another, another kill. Two misses, but he still got the kill. Yes. Cool. All right. Let's get to this capture zone. Acknowledged. Waiting on you, Commander. Hello. Okay, convoy spawn in like the worst position. Keep in mind that the convoy will try to stay near you for protection. Continue advancing to get them to the extract point. Okay, actually they're in the perfect um, spawn point because we want to move far ahead of them to try and meet whatever's gonna like try and take them out. I don't know what our fastest moving thing is, but I do know what's in the front. It's this. Wow, this a sprint with the Centurion just is kind of a joke. Affirmative. Seems like the Griffin is actually the fastest thing right now. Luckily, they're not very fast. Oh, uh, I don't know why they're pointed backwards. I really hope the enemy isn't going to appear. Oh, never mind. Their their lights are pointed back, but not they, not them. Really hope they don't spawn anything behind us. That would just suck. The big one. We are kind of putting all of our eggs in one basket. Not seeing anything. I mean, they could just like spawn nothing. Roger. Position confirmed. Still not seeing anything. Uh -huh. Maybe they're gonna spawn over here. That would suck too. Okay. Um. Let's get glitch over here just to. Scout out. I'm, I'm a little bit concerned, but I mean, oh, what is this? Drop pa uh, pod is inbound. I mean, I'm just like, we're just chilling. These things are so slow. <laughs> what are you doing? Why are you moving backwards? I mean, I know they said that they were going to, like, try and keep up with us. But, like... I didn't think they were going to back up. Oh, okay. They do move, like, much faster if we actually move. What is up with these vehicles? They're so strange. They seem to reverse in. And that last one is just, like, not doing anything. Me twice. Ugh. I feel like you guys could have gone farther than that. What is up with this one car that won't move? Stabilizing. Engaging. We're just bracing. We're just waiting. I don't think they're going to spawn any enemies. We can't move without you. They aren't wrong. They're sitting ducks without our support. What do you guys want me to do? <laughs> What do you want me to do? I I mean I'll move back, but like, what's the deal? Just just move. Aye, aye. Moving out. I 
Am I? Yo, this is actually really annoying. <laughs> Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to the escort zone. Maybe if I am there, they'll take the hint. Moving out. I didn't want to like go along the road though. Yo, I, this, I, this is hateful. <laughs> this is actually hateful. Why are you guys doing this? <laughs> Why do you think I like moved? Okay, whatever. On the move. Okay, we're all in the escort zone. If you guys don't move in, it, this is a you problem. <sighs> Why did only two of them move? Escort restoration units to their destination. Get to the extraction zone. Stabilizing. Engaging coolant system. You guys better move in, I swear to God. I I, I hate this mission. I hate it. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> this is the this is the worst mission ever. They won't move. What am I supposed to do? I am a, it's a complete mercy of whether or not these stupid vehicles want to actually get to the, the escort zone. I'm, I'm just going to move like further ahead and hope that does the trick. But this is so stupid. Good to go. Don't need to tell me twice. That seems to help. I think that did help. I don't understand why there's still like one vehicle. Okay, just like just keep moving forward. It's like a you know, it's like a um and it, like they're like animals you're trying to train. They they only do it if you're not looking at them. Oh god, you guys really did want to spawn them over there, huh? Hold your ground until the package is on its way. Why? Why? Why are you there? Move. <laughs> On my way. Well, so, I swear to God, if they move out of the evac zone because I'm moving over here, way. I'm about to slap something. Three of four units for one round. Is it actually moving forward? Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, I mean, there's something over there now. I can't see it. But it's over there. I'm just gonna brace. And we're just gonna wait. Yeah. Yeah, I know. You're you're right. It's a really dumb mission. It's a it's a bad mission that sucks. Stabilizing. Engaging coolant system. <sighs> what is happening right now? I, I'm actually like very tempted to load and just never take this mission again. This guy will not move. These guys will not get picked up. And just everything sucks. Done. They're like, what? What? What am I supposed to do? I swear to God, I'm about to, I'm, I'm about to slap something. There's bad guys over here now. Like, uh, maybe if I go start shooting bad guys, Roger. they're actually within like shooting distance of that one unit. I honestly, if they took it out, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't mind. Please, please just kill, kill that one unit that refuses to move and has zero self-preservation. I, I would welcome it. Um, we've got a Centurion and a Griffin. Griffin. Um, LR, LR, 
LRM5. Let's hit the ammo. The Decker's been hitting those, like getting those shots really consistently. Nice. Reporting critical hit. You betcha. I mean, it's a, we've got a good squad going on now, or we can like basically consistently kill a, a fairly tanky mech. You know, quickly, pretty quickly. They're gonna come over and they're gonna destroy that one little car, maybe. We've got a blackjack. It's actually moving now. I don't know what they're doing. <sighs> He's moving back. I hate this. This is the worst mission ever. This is the absolute worst mission ever. Don't I, I hate it. I, I couldn't I couldn't hate it more. Absolutely the worst. It's just, uh, I think if we just kill everything, then the mission ends. So why don't we just do that? <laughs> I did see a blackjack somewhere. I don't know where. Okay, it's over there. Again, we'll just, we'll just kill everything. It's fine. That's what I'm good at anyway. I'm not really an escorter. Yeah, let's just hit it in the torso. Got it. It, it only has lasers, so there's not really much I can like I can I can hit its arms if I care about its weaponry, but I don't really We missed with the PPC that sucks Waiting on you commander I read you commander moving out All weapons are go. It's getting some nice damage reduction from being in trees I don't know. I'm not even, I'm not even going to look at what the convoy is doing anymore. Wow, it hit with like everything there. Oh, cool. Injured my pilot. Shoot. That sucks, actually. There we go. That's what you want to see like every time. It's not going to happen every time, obviously. Decker's been getting those shots, like, consistently, and it's great. We're going to overheat. Is there any way to reduce this? We could uh, turn off. Well, these are 20 damage each. I feel like just taking off the PPC is worth it. But we're going to hit with 90% chance on that, so let's just use the PPC. Oh, I should have taken two off. So, I mean, this is a good test bed, honestly, for uh, that long range thing. It can't fire consistently every turn. It has no heat sinks. So it's a kind of a bummer. Wow. Blackjack has two large lasers, huh? Hey. <laughs> I cannot believe that I did, like, I don't know what's going on with this game right now. Actually going to move on to the, uh, unstable ground just so I can take this thing out. There you go. Yay. Hated that. The actual worst. <laughs> I mean, at least um, the, there's consistency in, uh, in you can just, like, kill everything and the mission still ends. We got an extra payout. Um, Griffin took some damage. Just a little bit, though. Um, we do get our pick of some pretty meh stuff. But, I mean, I guess I'll take a Griffin part. That's not bad. Honestly, still feeling that Centurion. 
Feeling honestly like the Centurion's better in some ways. The Griffin is very well armored, is the nice thing. Our mech warriors are gaining an experience. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. We'll give we'll we'll dole out some levels. Um Big Simple's gonna oh, we're just gonna go for that last tactics. Behemoth gets the second last tactics. Decker gets the second last tactics. Glitch gets the second last tactics. Medusa, whatever. We didn't take Medusa. Okay, is there another mission we can do? We, we're pretty good for money. Um, I think we could risk doing Liberation Smithen. Proceed to Smithen where you will assist the Restoration Army's efforts to liberate House Carosas. Early reports from our field observers suggested a loadout featuring indirect fire capabilities and at least a moderate level of mobility could prove advantageous on this drop. Further details will be provided upon your arrival. Um, indirect fire. Well, I mean, I honestly didn't plan too well for the last one and we still did well, so I might just like roll as we have been rolling. Your actions against our interest are earning you a powerful enemy, Commander. The local pirate organization. Uh, continue to impede pirate operations in this region and you will pay the cost. Uh, whatever. I don't care, honestly. Um, we will have Decker back before we even get to Smithen, so this seems ideal. I'm actually just going to do a pause here so you don't have to wait and watch all this. Okay, in your quarters, Decker points to a compad. Commander, I got an offer from another company, the Grey Death Legion. Their CEO, Grayson Carlisle, is paying top daughter, a dollar for mercs. He's even offering a kickback to any company he poaches from 100,000 C-bills. That's unusual, you say, examining the paused image of Carlisle on the compad. Go on. Carlisle's got something else. Uh, he's something else. I played his message over and over. The way he talks, I know he really could shake up the galaxy, and I want to be a part of that. Decker smiles bittersweetly. But this crew is my family, and leaving isn't so easy. What do you think? Um, encourage Decker to keep the kick pad if he, back if he leaves. No, I, I don't want to lose Decker. It's just that, not because I, I am a, necessarily attached to Decker, but because I don't want to have to train up at someone else. I don't know if the galaxy needs any more shaking up. It's already a mess, Decker. Think long and hard before you sign on with Carlisle. Talk is cheap. Usually it gets Wink Warriors killed. De Decker rubs the back of his head. You don't trust him? It's not that. I don't know much about Carlisle, but you know we've got your back on the Argo, so it's your decision, Decker. Just take your time. Do some research. Decker nods slowly. You're right. I shouldn't make a decision too quickly. Later that night, he knocks on your door. Just wanted to say that I'll be sticking around. I gave it some serious thought, and I, but I can't imagine a better crew than this one. Well, that's nice. He said that in the med bay, I assume, because he's, he's still out of action. Yeah, I would be kind of annoyed if an event took away one of my uh, mech warriors that I've almost, like, fully maxed out. All right, we're here. I'm going to do a pause real quick. I'll be right back. All right. We've arrived at Smith and Commander. Let's do this. Uh, Decker is still low morale. Oh, the Griffin is damaged. That is uh, just my bad. I forgot to repair it. Shouldn't take too long. One day. The Shadowhawk is actually higher um, tonnage. I wonder if it wouldn't be worth taking over the second Centurion. Probably I should have realized that a lot sooner, actually. All right, let's... um. Well, we gotta we gotta wait one day. Job is done, Commander. Let's um, swap out 
the centurion for the shadow hawk I'm not sure if they're like we could you know compare the centurion has less armor so does the blackjack and then well, obviously the jenner so yeah i think the shadow hawk is just better overall i don't even think it's a trade-off so i haven't actually done this mission and i know that for a fact i have not done this mission we'll do a pause all right let's see what the this has got in store for us Remember when we did a mission on the moon? I kind of I've kind of missed that. Welcome to Smith and Commander. The bulk of our army is entrenched in the capital, exchanging fire with what's left of the Directorate's defense force. The battle is leaning in our favor, but we're running low on ammunition. This is where you come in. The structure before you is a munitions dump that that the Directorate stole from House Carosos. I need you to take it back. Find all hostile units and eliminate them. Our combat support staff will handle the rest highlighted several i've highlighted several uh, optional objectives for you on this mission that all pay equally well saving some of the ammunition that's already packaged for transport will earn you a bonus payment if you manage to preserve the bulk of the ammunition you will receive a second cumulative payment uh, finally i will pay you a bounty for any directorate transports you manage to destroy during the engagement interesting this assignment comes with risks the facility is heavily guarded and if any of those munitions crates come under fire, the resulting explosion will deal heavy damage to anything caught in the blast. This includes directorate units, so feel free to target the crates yourself, but know that you will be sacrificing a bonus in doing so. Nah, nah, nah. We've got enough firepower. We can take this on without, without the need to sacrifice our bonus. We're going to move right in. Remember, we get like one round of sprint. We can't really do anything in that round. You can't like strategize too much. I'm not too worried about them being able to get an extra free turn because our initiative is so good that uh, because of our tactician that we can just like, you know, Roll right in, get an extra turn. Um, I wonder if we have to take out those turrets. Probably we should. But I'm going to start by hitting that fire starter. Probably in the shoulder. We could just like take out an arm. It's got a flamer and medium laser and a flamer and medium laser um, <clears throat> and two flamers. Let's just hit it in the torso, honestly. All Yo, that is an instant kill. Instant one shot kill. Well, technically two shot kill, but Good to go. I, you know, come on. Um, we're gonna move here and I'm just gonna try and take out some of these turrets Roger that. On it. Nice that's one uh, another weapon out of the picture Good to go. Uh, Wouldn't mind with the long-range weapon trying to take out that 35 ton mech Location can't see it so we'll have to settle for this uh lrm turret yeah i figured there's a chance we might not actually take it out we got a few more mechs zeroing in on our position what do we got over there a spider we'll do a split shot multi-target that turret and that spider and we'll just throw both uh lrm yeah i mean i uh, i feel good about this uh -huh. oh we almost took it out so maybe i shouldn't have done that i mean there's a lot of mechs 
Ooh, something's raining on our parade. I think that was an LR. That, was that the turret? Ooh, a 60 ton. Ooh. No, that was the uh, long range. That supply truck is running with a full load of ammunition. Don't let it escape. Can do. There's a locust. We don't care about the locust. There's a panther. We kind of care about the panther. Is that the six? That's not the 60 ton. Okay, I mean, there's a lot of stuff on the field. I won't lie. Okay, I really want to hit that vehicle over there. That's an extra payday. It looks like we can't. We don't have the range. Unless I do a sensor lock on it. Save three ammo crates. Save six ammo crates. Prevent the first transport from escaping. Well, if we do a sensor lock with Decker, then we can hit it with the long range. It just sucks. Sensors locked on. Wow. It gets to move as well. How the heck was I supposed to keep up with that? What can I do for you? It's just barely within our range. So I'm going to I'm going to go for this. I don't think I'm going to kill it with this. I won't lie. Oh. We could try and hit it with a griffin, but I really don't think that that's going to happen. I'm just going to have to be cool with the fact that I can't hit it. Oh, actually, we can hit it. Dangerous units in this location are, are at a risk of destruction. We can re reach it from there. We can't hit it with the PPC, though. We can hit it with the PPC if I go in within the dangerous field, though. I definitely don't want to hit the ammo, so we're going to take the risk. I'm going to go for precision strike on this. Yes. Yes. So we have to hope that they're not smart enough to uh, hit ammo crates and stuff like that. I'm going to start hitting this panther. Um, what's we actually have a chance of one shotting this thing right now. Ah. Yeah, he missed with the AC. Sucks. Yo, stop sensor locking me though. No. Oh, right, that turret's still there. Another supply truck? Why does it get to spawn there? Hardly seems fair. I'm gonna need a medic. Oh god. Stop getting hit in the head, Decker. Every single time. You're getting shot in the head. Yo, there's a lot of stuff right now, though. Losing armor. Um. I mean, this kind of sucks. Roger that. We we didn't kill it. Wow, oh, it gets to move so far away, though. And now I have to waste a turn sensor locking it so that I can hit it with something else. I'm dedicating like all of my turns on these vehicles and it sucks. Commander. I'm taking heavy hits, Commander. Yeah, I know you're taking heavy hits. I think it can just barely hit the left side. Yes. Nice. 
Uh, I'm just gonna leave her over here and like smack whatever like I'm gonna have to split my lance and Dedicate two people over here to actually hitting turrets and stuff which um, speaking of which oh my god Look at all this stuff over here. Oh, okay. A lot of that is just like ammo crates that we're not gonna shoot Okay, so let's dedicate something to that turret and something to Not the Jenner. I don't want the Jenner. Um, what is this? Panther. Let's do the Panther instead. So we'll do one L LRMA, sorry, LRM10 on the turret. And we're going to do C on the other two on the, on the Panther. Got it. That's the turret dealt with. That's another gun off the field. Ooh, I think I just hit one of the buildings by accident. Okay, so I'm gonna have to bring the Hunchback and the Shadowhawk. We're definitely gonna have to dedicate a couple of people over here. There's nothing spawned right now, so we should take this opportunity to, you know, Kill some of these extra turrets and stuff. Um, kind of wouldn't mind getting rid of some of these little mechs. All yeah, I mean, I should just never take a shot with the AC-20 when it's below 50% chance. I'm gonna do a very small jump. What is that? Light laser turret. We're gonna do something uh, unadvisable, inadvisable, and turn away from it and try and just kill some of these small mechs. Not bad. I mean, could be better. Spider has annoyingly quite a lot of armor for being a light mech. So we are... The Shadowhawk is exposed. We're not seeing another vehicle. We are overheating with the PPC. We should get the PPC in this little pool. And, um, that would be better. <sighs> Starting to think that maybe putting a PPC on this thing was... Uh, yeah, the PPC's good in theory. <clears throat> I'm starting to value having a lot of guns over having some guns that hit hard. I think what I'm going to do is back up slightly. And um, just shoot that turret with the LRMs. The fact that we didn't kill it means that that was not a terrible move. I want to back them up into the pool there. Not much armor left in that location. Moving out. I don't. I, I really don't like what's going on right now. There's a lot of very big mix that we're not taking shots on. Okay, let's see if we can take, take do some damage to this panther. That's not bad. One more good hit, maybe with a hunchback, might actually kill that thing. Griffin's taking some nasty hits. She's hurt. That's fine. Just don't get hit again, please. Wow. Okay, we're in that situation again where literally every mech is shooting one mech. Everyone's picking on the griffin. Let's 
let's go with um the hunchback and try and kill that panther there we go there's a there's a, a win that's something I really just need to kick these locusts I don't have any like good um punching mechs anymore I kind of took them all off uh, I just I, you know what honestly I just want to hit this stupid turret here Get into a nice position kill this thing and then uh, we're in a decent position to to you know hit other things afterwards i didn't even realize did i is this the same spider that i have yeah it is oh my god okay we're gonna get this is awful what about this is this better still can't hit anything Tell you what, let's get Glitch in a position where she can hit that thing. And then... Oh, that's a cicada? That is a 40-ton cicada. Um, We can hit it. Can also hit something else. Oh, there's a 90% over there that oh, we have a dragon shoot. Okay. Yeah, let's let's hit the dragon We have ammo on the on its left torso Sorry right torso Yeah, right torso. So let's just aim for that ammo Nice I didn't expect to do anything very meaningful there. Did it just shoot the ammo? Nice try. Oh, it tried. Uh-oh. Might have been a stray shot, but still, it's a little bit concerning, I won't lie. Griffin is um, not looking good. But we need to make some moves here Shoot Even if I take every I guess if I take off everything else, but we've just like This is uh 60 damage we're, we're I mean, I guess I guess it kind of makes sense, but not really I'd rather do this They missed with the PPC. That's like the best news. I really need to st like hit something good with the hunchback. Ooh. Ow. I'm hit. Commander, I've lost all my weapons. Wait, what? You lost a weapon? What'd you lose? What? It lost her. She lost her arm. Well, she's like. It, completely worthless now okay we're gonna have to get her out. out absolutely nothing that she can do now she could do some melee damage but like that's not what we what we want i'm gonna give her some vigilance to get rid of that unsteady and brace <sighs> starting the thing maybe for going some payment in order to hit these boxes wouldn't be a terrible idea there's I don't know how many boxes are left right now One two three four five six seven eight. Oh, I see eight remain so if I shot two boxes, it wouldn't be the end of the world I hear ya. I want to hit that dragon it's actually pretty primed Oh, 
Of course you're gonna overheat now. Nice. I'm a little worried. Standing by. <laughs> okay, I'm thinking we we shoot that ammunition right there. Because that would be two big mechs uh, off the playing field. Target acquired. Crate down. One less structure. Um but didn't take out the griffin but did do some hefty damage though we could potentially kill it with a good shot of a good volley waiting for orders coordinates received firing everything i've got of course it did all of the damage to the back of the griffin for some reason even though the box was in its front and so it gets to, to live another turn This is really bad Okay, that's actually good That centurion taking damage is like a really good thing for us uh, I'm just gonna like have my griffin run flee God, these stupid little scout mechs have been able to survive the whole match. Hunchback still has its arm. Um, it's not looking good. If I could kill that dragon, it would be that would be ideal. I don't think I can though. What's it got? It doesn't we, we can't even like it's got a lot of armor. Can't hit it with everything. Well I was kind of hoping we could do more, but the 100 damage, 100 damage on its torso isn't bad. Left arm destroyed. Warning. Weapon system destroyed. Weapon, how, how much? We still have the AC-20. Waiting for orders. I really just want to kill that dragon. I should probably like uh, probably what's if anything's gonna lose me this mission it was uh not killing those little scouts let's try and kill the dragon I mean, if we can do... It's still got a lot of health left. We knocked it down. I mean, that's something. Cool. Dragon gets to get back up. I love that the dragon's like really threading the needle. Right arm destroyed, knocked down. Might lose the hunchback, might lose the mission. Waiting for orders. If I hadn't moved back Griffin so aggressively, I might be able to do like melee hit 70 damage i mean that's something right Ready for orders. um the dragons built up some evasion it's 
It's only got 13 health left. We can just take it out now. It's half their fighting units down. Yeah, but we've killed a lot of its biggest heavy hitters. The other ones we can actually take out, like, pretty easily. In fact, I'm gonna split shot between all three of these. I actually think it would be worth it. Maybe not. Maybe if I just do... Um, just focus on the spider, I can take it out. I didn't even take it out. Wow. Oh, God. That spider has been a pain in the butt the entire match. Hey, can we actually do some melee? Yes. Get in there. Punch it. Kick it. Nice. It's still alive. It knocked it over, but it's still alive. <sighs> the hunchback, incredibly, is still in this. And still has its weapons, including the AC-20. doesn't have one of its lasers, though. Something I think is kind of garbage is that we didn't cool down in the, that time. Didn't we lose? We didn't. I guess we didn't lose a turn. If I could hit it with the AC-20 right now, that would be so nice. We missed. Of course we did. No damage detected. Griffin is taking shots, taking shots from something else. Honestly, feel like we have a better chance of potentially attacking the Griffin with the damaged Griffin. Now, I guess I can't reach it, but I can reach the spider. So let's just kill that thing. There we go. I've never had a mech so, like... Oh no, okay, that's the AC-20 dead. Wait, it critted the AC-20, but apparently I get to keep it. Okay, we've actually got good odds of hitting the Griffin here. I know, we, everything sucks right now, I understand this. What's it, what are we looking at? If we hit it in the torso, we will just take it out. Can't afford to put our laser on. We didn't hit the torso. We did kill the leg, though. Good to go. I hear ya. Thank God. Um, so we still have a cicada on the field, by the way. There's still, like, some kind of turret over there doing some, some damage to us. It's the first damage that Locust has taken the entire team, uh, entire game. Oh my god, please. Warning. Armor breached. Internal damage. Commander. If we can get the Griffin down there, um She's actually not in a great position. We should sprint her over. Cause then she can actually do stuff. I know I was gonna run her out of battle. I understand that. That locust is such a pain.
plus four difficulty to hit units within a mineral field plus two difficulty for attacks made by units within a mineral field okay well i'm i'm willing to live with all of that roger please just just kill this thing i mean i'm even gonna spend a precision strike on it like it's it's really that much of a problem <laughs> Wow, still, still nothing. I'm actually gonna start like throwing, lobbying some, some stuff against this cicada. We're almost out of ammo on the Centurion. So that's not good. What, uh, we don't have a lot. There's not a lot of uh, armor on the torso. I think I exposed it so I can put you know what let's just like kick this thing Engaging physical attack. nice One of them left. Take it out and this facility is ours. okay um despite every horrible thing that has happened including that by the way we almost lost the hunchback again we have 10 shots left with the uh the long range. I read you, Commander. Moving out. Got it. Yeah, that's it. Um We could just take out that ammunition crate. We don't lose anything. I don't think. I don't know. Position confirmed. Ah, uh, nah. Let's just let's just see this through. For an I, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna pay for that, aren't I? Think I hit something good. Okay, can we hit it? If we we have a 45% chance, but if we hit it, we kill it, maybe. We missed it. This may be the last mission I, I, I try and make the AC worth it. It just hasn't really worked out for me. It's worked out on occasion. Like, I, yeah, I got a one-hit kill on this mission. That was nice. I, I definitely enjoyed getting the one-hit kill. But is it worth it? Precision strike on the cicada. Kill. Please. Yes. Good job. With the supplies you've just secured for us, our battle mechs will shatter the directorate's battle lines. Smithen will be liberated now and forever. And Lord uh Carosis will be grateful not to put too fine a point on it but we do need his his help we shall have it i'll arrange an audience with him directly enjoy your victory that was that was rough that was rough no one died that's the good news didn't even lose anything super important that's the other good news i mean honestly it went well but cutting it very fine look at all the money Two million credits. Not not bad. Not a bad payday. Oof. <laughs> the Centurion. The long range Centurion is the only thing that gets to leave alive. We did lose a uh, PPC plus. That's pretty brutal. But uh, not the end of the world. I don't know if I'm I'm attached to PPCs at this point. We get a dragon part. Uh, it would have been really nice to get a second dragon part, obviously. Um, we get a Jenner part to sell a Jenner. And I guess I'll take a Cicada. 40-ton Cicada. Honestly, is there anything better? Could take a PPC to replace the one we just lost. 
Could take an LRM 10. Could take a flamer. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, there's a griffin part. Why why wouldn't I take the griffin part? 55 tons. I mean We got they keep giving they just insist on us having locust parts every time. Incredible. Okay, we're gonna see what kind of um, what the damage is on our coffers and um, I'll level up Everyone I think maybe um, and Yeah, I guess the next episode or two is gonna be some freelance missions liberated the world of Smith and oh, yeah We've got a potential cutscene. No uh, My lord Carosas, what a pleasure it is to see your face again long, long did you serve how Serrano and long were you a friend to me your loyalty and wisdom are remembered to this day is it, Okay, this is the guy spare me the pleasantries lapdog. Wow You're here because your mistress needs something isn't that right lady Arano go on speak for yourself You don't need a you don't need a Madeira to speak for you My lord Carosas, my force have just liberated your system from directorate control at this time yesterday afternoon I was waging war on your behalf as your liege lady I require your loyalty and the aid of your technologies and I expect you to provide it what you require means nothing to me. For the last three years, your uncle has squeezed House Carosis for its labor. His directorate conscripted my house guard, looted my treasury, took my children, all because I kept loyal to House Arano. And where were you while your sworn enemies were under attack? Oh, allies, sorry. Um, while your people were being slaughtered, you were hiding on the damned frontier. I saw your little bro broadcast from Weldry. By your own admission, you left us to die. She wasn't hiding, she was driven into exile. Such impudence. If you want anything from me, mercenary, I advise you keep your mouth shut. We understand the hardships that you have suffered, sir, but from this point forward, you will show me the respect that I am due. <clears throat> your own son was released from captivity by my hand. I fought and bled to set him free. He saved my auto, yes, but he isn't the man I remember anymore. The prison administrators on Weldry did something to his mind. And my daughter, Lena. She supported you, you know, even after you abandoned us to our fate. She refused to break faith with you. She sang your praises to all who would listen, until the directorate made an example of her. Lena was barely 20 years old when she died in your name. My fealty to your cause died with her, and so if you want my help, you will compensate me for it. You have a job for my technologists. And I have a job for your mercenaries. We'll trade service for op, uh, service for service, or you'll leave here with nothing. I'm so sorry, Lord Car Carosis. I didn't know. As a member of the founding council of the Oregon Car uh, Coalition, you're entitled to my help, and you shall have it. My mercenaries will assist you with whatever you need, and I'll oversee the task personally. Go on then. To Anvelt, this planet's first moon. There's a ship, the New Grange, that needs to be dealt with. My people will send you the details. Now, please go. Leave me to m attend to my son. They had more than munitions down there, Commander. There's a warehouse full of busted up dragons. I'm not going to tell you what the dragons are, that the dragon's a good mech, but it's big and can carry a lot of guns. If you bring them on board, I'll get them working. Fantastic. The contract to destroy the new grange for Lord Carosis is ready for review. Oh, I mean, we're buying a dragon. We just got a huge payday. Jenner D's run hot. No, we're selling the Jenner. We have close to 5 million. We're 100% buying a dragon. Um, well, we are going to have to refit a lot of our mechs. Oh, God. What a brutal state of affairs. Um, I'm, I'm really iffy on the AC-20 right now. I feel like it would be a better idea to do medium lasers and um, just AC-2s, maybe AC-5s. Mm, yeah, I mean, that's not bad. And then we have to put ammo on it, of course. 
Are these one ton each? Why am I putting AC2 ammo on here? These are one ton each, yes. Hmm. Maybe we could do two AC2s and one AC5. How many shots does this come with? 25 rounds. How many shots does this come with? 15 rounds. So we'll put two L AC5s on here. And this is fine. It, uh, we've, like, maybe this isn't, oh, wow. We're, we're paying 220,000 to repair this thing. It, it got beat up for sure. So, actually, stop work on this. Refit. Do we have to refit something? Doesn't look like it. I think we're okay. Yeah, just repair it. That might be the worst of it. The Griffin also got hit pretty hard. 150,000. I, I mean, that sucks. Um, I remain unconvinced on the PPC. So let's just like do LRMs. Let's do two, fi two fi fives and a 15. And throw some ammo on there. And look at that. That's actually pretty good. I'm happy with that. perfect await so now um let's check out the store real quick the episode is ending but we have two parts for the dragon and we can buy a third oh they have like six parts we could get two dragons what how much would that cost we need to buy four four times six hundred thousand 1.2 times two is going to be 2.4 it's gonna be about 3 million credits to have two dragons. Worth it? You know, worth it though? Maybe? New equipment available. Do you think? Do you think worth it? Maybe? Come on. Maybe? They come fully equipped. Come on. New equipment available. Two dragons? Yeah. We, 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 we want two dragons. I think we want two dragons. So what can we do here? Um, it's got two cannons, auto cannons. It's actually pretty spread out. Like it has a bit of everything and I don't mean that in a good way. Um, this might be the one that makes PPCs worthwhile. Let's um, strip it. Do PPC, PPC, what are we at? <laughs> no. Like, it just, it never works. Like, I could do PPC and then we have some room for missiles. So we could do two LRM fives. And then we do LRM ammo. But then we have to have heat sinks. It's not, it's not awful. We'll try it. We'll try it and we'll see what how it, how it works. I kind of wish I could copy this and have it for the second dragon, but we're, we we can't. Um, <clears throat> strip. Let's um. Let's go very short range with this one. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put. I don't want to do like lasers and ACs. I want to go short range four, medium laser there, medium laser there. I mean, actually what we had wasn't terrible. Maybe instead of an AC5, we go AC2 plus. No, but then we have to have ammo. I wish we had lasers instead of um, ACs. How about we just put some uh, support on here? I'll put a small laser and another small laser. This thing kind of sucks. <laughs> it's 
kind of not good. Okay, hold on. What if we do um, SRM6? Do another SRM6? Can we do that? I mean, that's starting to look okay. This is all right. We'll throw some SRM ammo in here. What are the, how many shots do these have? 100 rounds. So we really only need those two. And then we'll do a couple of heat sinks. And why don't we do jump jets? Hmm. Why don't we do one jump jet? Just to, just for, so it can turn around on a dime. Honestly, think it just putting another heat sink on there would be more valuable by far. I mean, this is pretty good. I think that this could work. I honestly think even we could just take off that last one and go full armor and this could work as well. I am cool with this. Okay. Um, so we've got two 60 ton mechs. There you go. Um, yeah, we'll spend our XP and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna end this. Let's see here. We can max out our tactician. That's something. Good to go. Good to go. Waiting for orders. Yes, Commander. All right. I'll end it there. If you're enjoying the series, definitely hit the like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.